Hello everyone, my name is Zach Schwabach and I'm here to show you a video on the section from our book Managers Can and Should Learn from Experience and the table in our book The Six Must-Have Managerial Skills. Growing up, it was important for us to learn from our experiences. It is just as important for a manager to do the exact same. Now as a manager, you're never going to know what to do in every situation because there's a lot of situations that you've never been through which promotes the challenge to us as managers to become lifelong learners. Now, we are all already lifelong learners, whether you know it or not. I use the trampoline example. When I was a kid, I would try to do backflips on my trampoline. After the first one, I jumped, jumped again, and landed on the ground outside of my trampoline. Only one broken arm later did I realize that maybe I should take a different approach to the backflip. Now, we're all lifelong learners in a sense. It's just taking the experiences from your life that you have and continuously learning and growing from them. Now there's a statement from State Farm CEO Edward B. Rust found on page 17 of our textbook that reads, I think the whole concept of lifelong learning is more relevant today than ever before. It's scary to realize that the skill sets we possess today are likely to be inadequate five years from now just due to the normal pace of change. As more young people come into the workforce, they need a deeper, fundamental understanding of the basic skills, not just to get a job, but to grow with the job as their responsibilities change over their lifetimes. We are in a time of insane technology growth. The Apple company claims that they have only released less than half of the technology that they have invented to date because they deem that it is not, that society is not ready for it and it would be too costly to them. Now you might think that this is a little off topic, but it's not. It's exactly what Edward Russ says in our excerpt. It's scary to realize that the skills we possess will be inadequate five years from now. Five years from now. Imagine that. Now think about five years ago. The top two selling cell phones were the iPhone 4 and the Samsung Galaxy S. Now, five years later, we are onto the iPhone 6 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S5. Five years is a very short amount of time for the amount of technology growth that we've had just in those two cell phone cases, two cell phones. Now imagine the case of everything that is going to be growing in the next five, ten years on. This is why lifelong learning is so important. You, I, or nobody will never will ever know everything there is to know, but every day presents an opportunity to learn something new. It's Lifelong learning is a skill so important for managers to have. You have to face an issue every day. Some you will know how to handle, while others will be brand new. It's not so much the problems that we already know how to face, but it's the new problems. These are the problems that keep managers up at night. But these are also the exact same type of problems that should excite you. No matter how you treat it, you can process what you've done, learn from it, and maybe next time the situation arises, you can breeze through it like my trip off the trampoline. The first time I did it, I landed on my back and one of my arms and it did not end well. After that, after my six week cast stint anyways, I returned to the trampoline and tried it again and again. And every time I would get closer and closer because every time I had a new way of starting or a new process in which I could do it. Lifelong learning is something that we've all done and it's so important for managers. Now, while we are on the topic of skills, Table 1-1 on page 17 of our textbook lists out the six must-have managerial skills. Now, the first of these skills is teamwork. Why is it important for teamwork? Well, a manager needs to be able to work effectively as a leader and as a group member. They need to make strong contributions, they need to know how to negotiate, and they need to have conscious building in their mind. They want their project to move forward but they realize that they cannot do it alone and that their group cannot do without them. Number two on our list of the six must-have managerial skills is self-management. Self-management is pretty simple. It's the ability to evaluate yourself, modify your behavior, meet obligations, strong ethical reasoning, and tolerance for ambiguity. Now you have to think about it. If you cannot manage yourself, why should you be trusted in a position to manage others? Number three on our list is leadership. Able to influence and support others to perform tasks. Leadership is not sitting there telling people what to do. 
Leadership is showing what to do and showing that you're willing to work with them to make your project move forward. Number four, critical thinking, problem solving. Problem solving is key to managers. You're going to face problems every day, like I said earlier, and it's up to you to come up, to come up with the creativity and the judgment on how to fix these problems. Also, a large part of critical thinking is decision making. Now, there will come a time as a manager where you either press for time or some other reason, and you can't come up with the best possible decision. That, that is when it's time for a manager to make the best decision available. Decision making is a key component in being a manager. Number five on our six must-have managerial skills list is professionalism. Sustain positive impressions and instill confidence in others. It is important to be a professional when leading other people. And lastly on our list of six is communication. Strong on writing or oral presentations, giving and receiving feedback. Communication extends to all parts of being a manager. Well, this concludes my video. Don't forget to be a lifelong learner and to review your six must-have managerial skills. Thanks for watching.